National Day of Mourning. Obviously not at New Year, but for the dreadful, dreadful mistake we've made of coming out of the EU. You know, I mean, there's not much we can do about it just now, but if they'd let democracy prevail, Scotland would have stayed in, you know, so there's not much democracy in that. It was very, very cobbled together. Uh, Scotty, thank you for coming on tonight. I can't think of anything better than uh, spending it with you and everyone else here. God bless. Absolutely, Kareem. We are definitely on here. The ones, the chosen ones, come on here, of course. Uh, where are you? Topic of conversation. What's the wildest night out in Hogmanay you ever had? Says Paul Mack. Well, Paul, I've had a few wild nights out in Hogmanay, I can tell you, um, and spent all over the country. I mean, I can remember spending some with uh, my parents in Greenock, obviously, and we went out first footing. Uh, I can uh, remember down south in Oxfordshire, spending a New Year, Hogmanay, New Year there. A lot of bagpipers down south, you know. And uh, mainly Scots, of course, who went in search of work because the union wasn't terribly fair to them and there was nothing doing in Scotland. Um, you know, so from that point of view, and um, many in the Highlands. And uh, in the Highlands, of course, your friends helped you if you were struggling a wee bit as the night wore on. Hello from Port William, Colin McCall. The beautiful, gorgeous wee Port William there. Love to everybody down there in Port William. A stunning, stunning part of the country. Am I right in thinking you have your own lifeboat? So there you are, down in Port William. Happy New Year, Kareem. Happy New Year, everybody. Well, not until the bells. So yes, indeed, a Happy New Year, but not until the bells. And then we'll do all the well-wishing. Scotty, when I say wildest night out, I meant waking up zip-tied to a lamppost in a different country. Ah, is that not more of a Glasgow stag night um, a la the 2000s? <laughs> Scotty, do you have a wee dram hidden beneath the studio desk for the bells coming in? Numpty head. Sadly, I don't. I have a glass of water. And I have um, some Errol Grey tea. I'll just have a wee sip because I haven't had anything since high tea. And uh, those of you that were brought up in the traditional way in Scotland, you'll remember that you had the full Scottish breakfast, porridge, kippers, sausage, bacon and egg, toast, butter, tea, toast, jam and preserves. And then you had an 11, say, so we something at 11, maybe a morning coffee or a hot chocolate at 11 o'clock and, uh, you know, some biscuits and some cake. And then, of course, there was lunch. There was broth, mince and tatties, apple crumble and custard. And then you had to dash off. You got nothing until afternoon tea at three o'clock when you could maybe have a cup of tea and a piece of uh, walnut cake. Uh, if you're allergic to nuts, maybe a little bit of Battenberg or something like that. And then that was nothing until five o'clock when you had your high tea. Uh, you know, maybe a little bit of smoked haddock with a poached egg. And then that would do you until your dinner at eight. <laughs> Scotty, I found out you can't eat tripe. You can eat tripe. It's not just for dogs in the tin. No, 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 no. People, tripe was an absolute delicacy. If you go down to the north of England, to Lancashire, to Yorkshire, to the Midlands, they're big on their tripe and onions. I can't really be bothered with the tripe. The, it kind of puts me off a wee bit, really. I'm not a great tripe man, uh, probably because uh, most of the tripe I've seen in my life, somebody's been talking it to me on the telephone. Don't forget the steak pie. Now, Colin McCall. Now you're talking the full steak pie, steak and kidney, you know, and a nice piece of that and potatoes, you know, that was the stuff. And peas, so you get the steak pie. There was a period in the 60s and early 70s when you didn't know if you were going to get anything at anybody's house. So what you had to do then was have something before you went out. So you'd say, we're going round to the Macmillans tonight. 
I I don't know if we'll get anything. Maybe have a wee bit bacon and egg before we go. A wee bit scrambled egg on toast. 